Hey everyone, this is Christina D, aka Short and Easel, with something I haven't done in a while, and I know it's been done a lot now, and you guys are probably sick and tired of seeing artists do this, but I thought this would be a fun idea because it's sort of a combo thing. I decided to do a Wish app haul again, but with two items. One of them I didn't bother waiting to unpack because I knew what it was, which is a nice little sketchbook. Thin paper smooth texture. So you can see there's a little bit of green in there. So, very flimsy. Very cute for travel. I'll probably carry that around. But these are what I've been waiting for. There was a seller on Wish that had the option of going for three random colors. So this is going to be a sort of three marker challenge too. So uh, let's get this open. I can already tell one of these is like a pink. The other two seem like dark colors, but I'm very curious. So, get, gotta give them credit, whoever the seller was. I completely forgot what, what their handle was on there, but they really made sure these did not go rolling around the envelope. So, whew, all the bubble wrap. It's gonna be an ASMR video. All right, oh, 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 what have we got? They are three touch soft head. Ooh, they're just touch. These are very interesting barrels. So we got, ooh, oh, I thought it was gonna be a darker, I thought this was a, like a blue or something for the packaging. It's a, these names are very interesting. I'm very curious to see if the caps are the same color. You guys can't see this at all. But we have a brown that is aptly called chocolate. A The cap looks pink, but I'm questioning it because it says purple gray. Let's see if I can get this to... There you go. Oh, almost, almost. I almost had it. Almost focus. Maybe we can get... Okay, you know what? Let's just throw that. Almost. Almost. But it won't focus on me. It's only... But the other one is green-gray. I'm curious about these. This is going to be very interesting. These are... They're not even Touch 5, apparently. I was, like, expecting it to be, like, Touch 5 or Oni. It's touch... Soft head. Okay, now I'm curious. It says medium broad, medium five, so I'm guessing. Yeah, chisel tip. Chisel tip. Okay. And folded nib. Okay, that, that's pretty typical. Interesting, very interesting cap. I, I like the fact that it's like a more triangular shape, so it's not going to be rolling around. And actually, the texture on the cap is very interesting. Although, let's, let's go for one of my favorite things that is also a favorite of many artists. Oh, it does it! It does the thing! It does the thing. The cap can go on the back of the other cap. We have a winner. So this is, this is going to be interesting. And it's going to be done in this, so let's hope that this takes it well, even though it should, I'm, ass I'm assuming, because it's a very smooth paper. Which is also very odd for me because I like things with texture. So this is going to be fun. Okay. Sort of got things a bit more zoomed in here. So uh, let's go by... Oh, this, this is a very odd system. Hang on. Because <laughs> chocolate and purple gray are both numbers. And green gray is a letter our letters and a number. So, hang on, let's see if I get that. To, there. You see? It, it's letters and a number, and then these two are both. If I can get this to focus. Is it there, maybe? Oh, there. Nope. Almost, almost, but you see what I mean. Okay, let's see how these swatch. The one I'm most curious about is purple-gray. So, let's just go with the, uh, Chisel tip. This is green gray. Oh, 
that it's very smooth. Okay, that. I don't know why it's called green gray, but I guess it's pretty close to the cap. Saving the saving that purple. Well, it's supposed purple. Clearly, the cap is pink. Saving that for last. This is chocolate. Whoa, that's dark. Whoa. <laughs> the cap and the marker are a little off. And okay, we're, we're doing this. That definitely looks pink. I I don't know what this means about purple. Oh yeah, that that is pink. So working with a gray, a really dark brown that almost looks black, and a pink. And they bleed. Oh, do they bleed. Wow. Okay. Although I admit, I gotta admit though, I do like the fact that they have the uh, stripe on the side for the uh, fine tip. Let's see. Okay, pretty much about as broad as I was expecting. A lot of bleed. I'm noticing that automatically as I put it down. So I'm starting to think maybe this notebook is not good. <laughs> Notebook sketchbook, but we'll have to see. We will have to see. But so far, the only one that actually doesn't match its cap is chocolate, because this is more of like an actual chocolatey brown. This is almost black. It's definitely brown, but it looks almost black. So, we can make something work with this. We can make something work. Hopefully. Really hopefully. Okay, we're copping out on this because I can't think of anything that will survive how much these bleed on this paper. So be safe. And stop the bleeding through to the other side. Fold up the piece of print paper, but to keep it simple so it's not bleeding throughout the lines, we're doing it this way. So, um, let's start with the uh, chocolate brown. I figured a cupcake is the smartest idea, and we're doing this in real time because it's a small picture. So, let's do this. Okie doke. Um, this next to the page? Oh, oh, that's really dark. Oh, that's really dark. I don't like that. Okay, I know. Oh, I don't like how dark that is. You can't even do sharp edges. Oh no. Like, it is just bleeding on the page the moment I put it down. Oh, these are not good. I don't know if it's even just the paper. It's just bleeding like crazy on the page. The moment it hits the paper, it's just... It's like watching watercolors on, on a pre-wet paper. It's just... It does its own thing. Oh. Okay, I don't know. Okay, but we're working with it. We are working with it. I could fix it up in the line art. <laughs> I will line it afterwards because I don't trust it. Okay. You cannot even tell that's a brown. Oh, that's... that's sad. <laughs> oh, that's... this is like really dark. This is really, really dark. Okay. You know what? That works. That works. Maybe it's a dark chocolate cupcake. Yeah, totally. Let's let's go with that. Okay, since I don't use chisel tips that much, let's make it like strawberry icing. Yeah, that works, I think. Oh, okay, that's scary. Oh, that's terrifying. I've never used a chisel tip. Oh, that's that is like satisfying but terrifying because of how much oh god that bled so much. <laughs> that is why I did not ink this first. And we're just going with black colors because I don't trust how much these markers bleed. Maybe the chisel tip can get me a nice. Nope. Just hoping the chisel tip can get me a nice clean edge. But nope. 
Okay, there's a strawberry icing, which will have pink sprinkles in the end, because we're not messing with it. <sighs> it terrifies me. Okay, we're, we're going in. Going into these entrances. Oh, I am, I am scared. Oh, that's, that's very wet. That is still wet. Okay. That is still very wet. I am not good with markers. I think that's kind of obvious, but I would like to do more marker videos. I thought this was going to be fun because it's like, oh, another wish app video. And it's thought it'd be fun because it's just like mystery markers because I didn't know what colors I was getting. But oh, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. Okay, um, oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's weird. Oh, like bubble. Like bubble. That is the least solid color job ever. Artists everywhere are quaking at that lovely color job. <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. Um, maybe I can somewhat save it? No? This is doing its own thing. Okay, we're... No, we're gonna let this dry. We are gonna let this dry. Okay, th this is terrifying. <laughs> this is... it's... Ooh, that's very wet. <laughs> We're gonna come back when it's dry. <laughs> okay, I think it's mostly dry. This is terrifying. So we are going in and inking because this is genuinely terrifying. I am scared. <laughs> I don't even know if inking this will save it, but we're gonna try. It's like, maybe art gods be ever in our favor. And hope this turns out well, because this genuinely looks terrifying. The brown has sort of dried lighter. You can actually tell it's a brown marker now. On a brown ink. It doesn't look like I just laid down a jet black marker anymore. So that's a plus. This does dry somewhat lighter. But still relatively dark. The marker did not dry well. This is 100% terrifying. But we're rolling with it. We're rolling with it. There are no mistakes in art, only happy accidents. Although some of those happy accidents may make you regret what you did with the art piece. Like what I am doing right now. I am regretting everything, but you know what? You know what? It's an experience. It's a learning experience. We learn what not to do anymore. We learn what not to do. Do as I say, not as I do. So these are terrifying. It could just be, could be the paper. You never know, because this is also a cheap sketchbook from Wish. So for all you know, it could be the paper. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see any of these details, but we're, we're including details in here. Give us some texture if we can. Because this is a cupcake. I don't think that's visible at all, but oh well. Let's add some lines in here. It's a wrapper, so it's just like... Get an idea of what's going on here. Aside from giant mess. Oh, this is genuinely terrifying. <laughs> oh, this is this is really terrifying. And if you guys could hear that, that was my stomach. My stomach is 
going nuts. My stomach is very vocal. It's saying, what did you do? And why are you drawing a cupcake when you are clearly hungry? Because it's almost time for dinner. <laughs> Meanwhile, my royalty free playlist is go it's just doing its own thing and I have no clue what they're even saying and I'm not a big fan of this song. It sounds very a little too chill for me. So, okay. I think that's as good as we're getting with the rapper. So then let's go into the icing and hope, hope to the heavens that I can save this. Because already that's a very jagged and but you know what? You know what? This is this is icing. This is icing. Icing does its own thing. Ooh, this is scary. This is genuinely terrifying. You know what? I think we're doing good. And you know what? Let's add in some uh, pink sprinkles as well. Because nothing beats sprinkles on an ice cupcake, even if they are the same exact color as the icing. Because we don't have any appetizing and appealing sprinkle colors to work with. And at this point, adding that will more than likely bleed, and I don't want that happening, not after we just inked this. Maybe get some, like, circle, those nice little round sprinkles in there too, mix things up, make it look all, all nice. There you go. There you go. That, that, that works. That, that, that completely works. And their little signature there. And there you go. There you have it. A very, very not good looking cupcake. <laughs> totally. We somewhat did it. We somewhat did it. And by we, I mean me panicking this whole time. <laughs> okay. So this is what we got. If I can get this to focus, we will be in business. Yes, no, maybe. Camera. It's like it wants to, but it doesn't. There you go. That's what we got. That is what we know. Yes. We. Okay, we're, we're, we're failing, but you know what? You got, there you go. No, yes, maybe. Doesn't know what it wants to focus on, but there you go. There you go. That is our attempt at a three marker challenge slash wish app art supply haul. Awesome. Totally worked. Nailed it. The markers bled like crazy. I've heard of Touch Five, but Touch Soft Head is the new one, I guess. Maybe. Is that a new thing? It, it, is it a new thing? I feel like it might be. Possibly. I feel like my webcam just wants to focus on my carpet. Like, I feel like it just wants to focus, like, over here. But, yeah. That was the, that was the challenge. I'd say it was a somewhat success, a iffy success, maybe? I mean, we got something out of it. And I'm definitely going to carry this sketchbook around with me and just doodle in it. But yeah, I, I think I think this was a success. Would I recommend these markers? Probably not. Because these did bleed like crazy. It could just be, could just be the paper. Hang on, let me see. 
they don't seem to bleed as much on printer paper. So maybe I would recommend them. Maybe. You know what? If you want to try the markers, try them yourself. Because, I mean, on, on printer paper, they don't seem as bad. But on whatever paper this is. Oh, boy. They did. Yeah, no. No. They did not go well with this paper. So, yeah. I'd say that was a success. And I will see you guys whenever the next video is. And, by the way, just want to say this right now. Shout out to Bit again. You are becoming an MVP on my coffee. Like, you have donated so much in there just over the past few months. So I will pop up the picture very quickly that I drew for you for your recent support. And if you guys want to support me, links to my coffee, Zazzle, and Patreon, all that fun stuff is in the description below. Below? That, that, that way. That, that, that way. Yeah. This is not a weird angle. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!